Rockwood 8280 WS fifth wheel here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is outfitted with a diamond package and a handful of upgrades which are not standard equipment so I want to take a quick moment to let you know there are things in this video you might see such as the diamond package or the interior fabric schemes that can vary from trailer to trailer. So uh, keep in mind if the pictures look a little different you understand why I don't tend to reshoot this footage. Um, the uh, diamond package uh, at the time of this filming has recently um, gone through a little bit of a cosmetic update. They've lightened up the skin on it a little bit. Instead of a, a very dark brown, they went to this milk chocolate here. And not only, I mean, they really nailed it in terms of just the look. But the other thing I think it's doing is it's going to cut down on the amount of heat this coach generates when it's exposed to direct sunlight. Um, they've also updated the graphics a little bit. Man, they look sharp. I, I love what they're doing. But these are only a couple of the reasons Rockwood is the best-selling lightweight fifth wheel or travel trailer series out there and has been for many, many years. There might be a few price brackets where another product might nudge these out, but overall, Rockwood's the best-selling lightweight, period. Now, this is one of the reasons why in fifth wheels are doing so well. This is one of their larger fifth wheels. Their largest fifth wheel is geared toward a half-ton short bed truck. These are not made for big mega trucks. This is about as big as they get. Now, this Reese Revolution pin box here is one of the reasons why. This entire pin box pivots up to 45 degrees and it pushes the nose of this trailer away from the cab of your truck. That'll keep them from meeting one another when you're jackknifing a really sharp turn and that eliminates the opportunity for a, uh, a really bad collision unless you're really cranking that sucker around. Now when you get up to the signature series here, which is where the fifth wheel start, everything starts on a, a full high gloss gel coat and you can clearly see the reflection of these trailers over here in this fifth wheel. It's like looking at uh, looking at a lake that's still. Now, it's it's the detail work that really separates Rockwood from a lot of other lightweights. And here's what I'm talking about. Start looking at the bottom sides of slide outs on these other brands, and it looks rather unremarkable, doesn't it? That's because Rockwood took the time to finish off the bottom of their slides. They've done that for many years. It's one of the reasons they have fewer instances of leaks. It's, it's harder for water to get in here. Um, Things like the, uh, this is something that they've gone to just this year, the uh, magnetic holdback latches on their baggage doors. So both, what's interesting is both horizontal and vertical doors, you see how it grabs it right there, uh, they do that. So you, I don't have to juggle that big heavy laminated uh, baggage door on my head. It's easier uh, to get in and out of these baggage doors. It's simply one hand operational. And there it sits. Uh, what's nice too is you don't have that little plastic latch to hold the baggage door open because those things can get sun damaged and weaken and break over time. Now I mentioned that this is a fully laminated door. That's really important because if these big baggage doors weren't uh, laminated, it means they wouldn't be insulated. And you know what uh, is right under your ba uh, basement area here, or right above rather, is your bedroom. If these baggage doors aren't insulated, then there's nothing stopping your hot or cold air from your RV from just flowing outside. Now this is the second TV for the bedroom that we're looking at in the video right now. The big TV in the living room is standard. The bedroom TV is an option that we add to most of our RVs. Obviously the one in the video that uh, we're looking at right now is part of that. But it's this TV that is designed to go inside or outside. If you notice they have a swing arm that recesses out of the way when you're not using it and uh, it the TV just simply slides right on and right off that bracket. What's kind of cool is you can turn it to face wherever you want at your campsite and when you're not using it, it can simply store up and out of the way. Uh, simply hook it up over there, very cool stuff. Notice that they do a really nice job of finishing off in here. You know, you uh, you see, well, this is also a really good place to look around. You get to see how this thing's built. You get to see aluminum framework everywhere. You, you don't see particle board, you see plywood, you don't see OSB. You see higher grade material used everywhere. And that's another reason these Rockwoods are the best sellers in their class. They are, you know, probably the very best built lightweights out there. Most lightweight rigs, you can thump on the sidewalls like this and they're nice and solid. But try walking up to the rear wall of another, quote, lightweight fifth wheel and pound on that. In Rockwood, it's laminated. Same thing with the side walls of the slide outs. And this one's really telling to me. Walk up to the side walls of the slide outs. On a Rockwood, it's fully laminated. You can bang right on it. They use much thicker rubber seal. Man, those are big. Bigger, thick rubber seals on their wipe seals. Um, you know, it's it's things like that. The rear wall is laminated. Even the roof and the floor are laminated. It has more structure and more rigidity built into this fifth wheel. That's why I like it. Um, the uh, 
Furion backup camera pre-prep system is becoming a standard feature in Rockwoods now. Um, it does not include the backup camera, it's simply pre-wired to do so. With this having fully laminated walls, if you wanted to add that little wireless backup monitor after the fact, it'd be very difficult. So they pre-wired uh, pre in. Now part of the diamond package we're looking at is the aluminum shield over the awning fabric. That's going to keep the awning fabric from getting sun damaged unnecessarily. You know, keeps the wind and rain and snow away from that awning uh, as much as physically possible when it is stowed away and not in use. Um, while we're even looking at the power awning, it's worth mentioning. You see power awnings in almost everything now. Even budget brand travel trailers tend to have power awnings. But, did you know there's a difference in the grade of motor that go into those? Rockwood uses the higher grade motors in their uh, awnings. What that means in English is they go in and out faster, they do so more reliably, so they last longer before they may need maintenance or replacing. That's what's nice. Um, now we've upgraded the rear jacks on this to power stabilizer jacks. You simply have a push button right here, up and down, very simple. So you level the coach front to back with your power front jacks, then you bring down these rear stabilizer jacks just to keep the fifth wheel from rocking around and people hop in and out. Now we're looking at, in a sense, sort of an outside kitchen here. Um, you know, what defines an outside kitchen in an RV? You have a stove or something to cook with, a place to put your stuff, and a fridge. Well, this comes with uh, the, the full RVQ outside grill. I simply don't have it in place right now. It comes with a little floating countertop, and it comes with a little outdoor mini fridge, or as I like to call them, Dad's medicine cabinet. So, to me, this RV basically has a full outdoor kitchen. Um, they've just done so in a way that doesn't eat up your interior space And that's the problem with outdoor kitchens is you have to give up so much inside space to do it You don't have to with this Rockwood now. What's really cool with this this little work table that you see right here notice It's not wood. This is resin. This is all just a molded plastic So if you leave this out in the rain or if you leave it out in the morning and the dew sets on it It doesn't matter. It can't rot mold. It can't mildew it can't get soft spots over time. It, none of that can happen. And what else is really cool is it doesn't matter if, you, like, let's say uh, you, you have your stove right here, your grill, you flip your burgers and you're going to set down your tongs because you're right-handed. But what if you're left-handed? Well, not a problem. Simply move it over. There you go. Now we're in left-handed mode. It can work either way. And anytime you can keep a cold drink on hand outside, you instantly cut down about 50% of your foot traffic walking in and out of your RV. That's a lot less dirt getting tracked in and out. Um, fully enclosed, insulated, forced air heated underbed. So this is good for extended season camping. I don't like to use the word four seasons on a lightweight product. The walls simply are not thick enough on lightweights to be called four seasons. That being said, this is a good extended season, three, three and a half season camper. That's what this is designed for. I don't, you know, a lot of people are gonna tell you, oh, this is a four seasons rig because it has an enclosed underbelly. I disagree but it doesn't mean it's any less insulated than the thing that they were looking at. I just like to give you better information. Now, again, real quick disclaimer, we're looking at the Toscana interior with hickory woodwork and a wood print floor. Again, all three of these things can change depending on the RV that we have in stock at the time. We've also outfitted this one with a stainless steel appliance package, which is another one of those visual things that can vary from trailer to trailer. So if the pictures look different, you understand why. I don't tend to reshoot this footage. Uh, this is a full one motion slide out height bed. It's very slick, easy to use, works very well. The advantage of going to the one motion system is it still allows for a storage drawer. And this is something that most hide beds do not offer. Don't get me wrong, I really, really like the memory foam hide beds they're using nowadays over the air beds that were in use even a couple years ago. Some are still using the air beds. But uh, the, the normal trifold memory foam sofas don't allow for that extra storage drawer and every ounce of storage to me is critical. We have outfitted this one uh, in place of a booth with a freestanding hardwood dining table and four chairs. Now we've also, it looks like, put in the atrium feature, which is these three big windows. And you see that those go from the ceiling of the slide all the way down to your kneecap level. So down anywhere in your visible viewing field, you have these big giant windows. In a Rockwood Signature Series, we do have upgraded window treatments. We have both day and night two section shades. And I do like to point out that your side windows on these do open for cross ventilation. And to me, that's a real big deal because not everyone wants to run their AC full blast all the time. Um, again, uh, the, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, the, uh, up here in the ceiling, we see our residential light and ceiling fan. 
That's something that we put in these almost all the time. I think that's actually a standard feature now. It used to be an option that we like to put into them, but it became popular, so they standardized it. Generally speaking, with your air conditioner, we tend to equip these Rockwoods one of two ways. Either with uh, a single uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner here in the living room and a normal 30 amp service unit, or we will put this to a 15 and then upgrade to 50 amp for the addition of a second air conditioner if you want to do that. We tend to be about 50-50 in how we bring these in. Um, so again, always double check your options list because each, you know, two rigs can look identical but have different equipment on them. Now when I say these are lazy boys, I don't mean they're recliners. I mean these are lazy boys. These are actual lazy boys and this is not something you tend to get in any level of fifth wheel. Uh, until you start to get into some really crazy priced uh, things that cost at least five times more than this, and I mean that literally, you don't tend to get this great of furniture. Rockwood, anywhere that you sit or sleep, basically they spend more money than just about anybody else because those are your critical areas. Now, obviously with a rear kitchen, storage is a, is a central concern. Uh, so what's nice is with the rear kitchen, it allows you for more uh, space for things like a giant pantry like this. This thing has a humongous countertop space. You also have all of this upper layer storage space here for all of your cabinetry. And this is another thing I like to point out. When you get into lightweight trailers, generally, they don't tend to come with any level of door strut to keep that door held up. But notice that Rockwood doubles up on them. You have two in this so that one side can't get, like if you only tend to push down on this side of the door because you're right or left handed, the double strut keeps that from wearing out. At least it'll make it last a lot, lot longer. Um, Diamond Package upgrades us to full Corian countertops. I noticed too that your sink is recessed, mounted below the countertop, and this does feature the same Corian countertops that you have anywhere else. We also have nicer, uh, you know, like residential hardware here, a, uh, a very nice residential grade faucet. So you have just an immense amount of room to work with here in the kitchen because you can utilize this just like counter space. And the reason you're seeing the glass top start to permeate through a lot of the towable RV industry now is because of Rockwood. They're the ones that made it so popular in the towable business. Stuff like this has been used in motorized for a while. Rockwood brought it to, to towables, and now everybody's jumping in on the bandwagon. You will find nothing but LED lights inside or in uh, a Rockwood's living area or in the pass-through baggage doors. They don't use incandescent bulbs. Incandescent bulbs can uh, <clears throat> you know, burn out on you, and you have to constantly replace them and take an extra trip to the parts store. Rockwood's whole point, the entire reason this is built, is to go enjoy it. You're supposed to spend more time in your fifth wheel and less time in a shop, and that's the whole goal behind a Rockwood. Big, giant Toshiba, name brand, 40-inch flat screen TV, super high def, kind of crazy big TV, in a fifth wheel. I mean, a couple years ago, a 32-inch was the upgrade from a standard 26. It's just, it's incredible how far these things are coming and how quickly. Um, another thing I do like, is a lot of people like to bring satellite systems with them. Rockwood is very realistic. It's They're built by people who go camping. You know, their engineers are campers. They're not just a guy who can put a schematic together. So they leave you easy satellite hookup access down here, and they give you an extra deep shelf to put a satellite brain. Have you looked in a lot of these fifth wheels and tried to see where you could add a satellite system? A lot of them, you really can't without doing some kind of modifying, and nobody wants to start cutting holes in their cabinetry. You didn't buy a new fifth wheel, so you had to cut on it. You bought a new fifth wheel to go have fun. Um, your DVD player is all in one. Basically does everything. AM, FM, CD, DVD player, both inside and out. Even Bluetooth enabled with a microphone for hands-free calling. That's incredibly cool to me. Um, fireplace, this is an electric space heater. So you don't have to burn up all your propane after you already paid for their electricity. That's the whole point there. And I'm running way over on time, but I, I got to talk about this. A lot of fifth wheels only have two big steps from upstairs to downstairs. Rockwood gives you four easy steps. So if, uh, let's say you've had knee or hip work done, it's easy to get up and down. And notice you don't have that ugly step up next to the bed. It's just one level, upstairs or downstairs, with easy steps in between. Um, you have a, uh, a dual pass-through to get to the bathroom from the bedroom or the hallway where I'm at. A uh, bigger, big full-size Creative Breeze fan in a Rockwood. And you see these little slats up here? This has a uh, Max Air um, vent fan uh, cover on the roof, pre-mounted from the factory, already on it. Standard issue from Rockwood. 
the the detail work in this to me it is tremendous. In the bathroom, they're giving you a little toe kick space so you can actually stand right up to the bathroom counter. You can actually stand here and wash your hands, brush your teeth. You can actually stand in front of the mirror and shave. You can use this bathroom just like you'd use one at home. And speaking of detail work, little stuff like this blows me away. Little rubber stopper on the door so that you can't damage your cabinetry when this, uh, you know, if you're going down the road and this door accidentally bounces open, let's say it flies over here, doesn't matter. Rubber stopper, it can't hurt it. Big giant linen cabinet here in the bathroom. The uh, top section here is a little bit more shallow because they use that storage space outside, but you see how big these are right here. Oh man, big standing shower. Um, you don't have a travel trailer tub. And that, that vent fan I showed you earlier, you have wall controls for that. So if you're short and you can't reach it, doesn't matter. Um, they've gone to full 80 inch queen beds, not a 76 inch camper queen. Tall guys like me can sleep on this without my feet hanging off the bed. I'm going to open this window to give us a little bit of light in here. There we go. Um, next to the bed, we do have all sorts of power outlet options. We have residential wall sockets as well as twin USB and single cigarette lighter plugs, as they used to be called. I don't know what the official name is anymore. But uh, you can actually you can have a CPAP machine in here, alarm clocks, fans. You can do all that stuff. Now this is the third slide. Pardon me, the second slide of the coach. This is a two-slide fifth wheel, and this is a pure storage slide. The advantage of doing this instead of having the bed in the slide out is it keeps the pin weight on the fifth wheel down, and lighter trucks can still tow this thing down the road. But it is so deep that I have put the RVQ grill in the box sideways in that slide out, and you still have extra room in here. It is about two feet deep, and it is it's just. It's the difference between leaving this thing packed and constantly having to pack, unpack, and repack it. And again, uh, the second TV that we've added for the bedroom does mount up there, and I do have that mounted outside currently. And there's still at least 10 or 12 things I could think of, but I don't have time. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hail at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.